Hi, do you need car insurance? Are you late? Do you have a problem with your car insurance? We at Morris World TV, we have car insurance for you. We have all things for you. Welcome to another edition of Morris World TV. Are you able to hear me today? <laughs> we outside, family. <laughs> Y'all hear the chirping? That's right. I'm in the city, just not the inner city. Y'all able to hear me today? Who can hear me today? Y'all come on in. Press seven if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Ain't nobody talk. Let me see if y'all talk. I can't see nothing. Are y'all able to hear me? Mark Anthony, what's up? What's going on? I just took a break from work today for the show tonight. Hey, fam, we got a good show tonight. I'm trying to tell you. We got a really, really good show tonight. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Thank you, Mark Anthony. Everybody act like they, t- they can't talk. You know what I mean? Hey, come on, man. Anyway. I just wanted to check in with y'all, fam. As you can see, I mean, let the I want the haters to take a picture of my hands. You know what I mean, they make videos about my hands. You know what I mean, these are real working hands. <laughs> these are real. What's up, doggy man? That's not, these are real working hands. Shout out to my brother Michael Jackson Bay who came through. But but listen to me. The reason why I'm late today is because I was sitting up. I pulled up and I said, you know, I want to start off real quick and show you what's going on, let you know what's going on. And then this good brother, Morris brother, comes past the house, you know what I'm saying, with a, a, a couple moors with him. And, you know, I get to run in my mouth, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so shout out uh, to Michael Jackson Bay, uh, Gemini, and the other brother. I, mean, I get to run in my mouth, but that's Michael Jackson Bay. So anybody in Baltimore see Michael Jackson Bay that does home improvement, and uh, 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 he's a member as, as well as an official of Temple Number 19, uh, somebody tell him, stop disturbing Moorish World TV. We got business to take care of right here. You hear me? <laughs> What's up, Sonny Boxing? Man, it feel good out here, Sonny Boxing. Now, you know, everybody knows Sonny Boxing is a mod. Y'all got to wait. I'm going to get to what I want to talk about in a minute. Y'all need to calm down. Everybody knows Sonny Boxing is a mod on Morris World TV. Anybody think Sonny Boxing good with them hands? I think Sonny Boxing might be good with them hands. Any man name himself Sonny Boxing, that means he's going to box you and put you on the sunny side up. What y'all think? Sonny Boxing. <laughs> Sonny, stop boxing. He would get punished and be boxing in his <laughs> Sonny, stop boxing. He named himself Sonny Boxing. How'd he box, <laughs> box the brains out somebody's skull? <laughs> Y'all ever see somebody fight like that? <laughs> they fight so good that you're like, man, man. Anybody over 40, 45 ever see somebody fight so good and, and you just start thinking, y'all be cool, but you be like, if he ever, if he ever, <laughs> you just start thinking about taking him out. Y'all ain't beefing or nothing. You just start thinking, if, man, there's a guy I grew up named Hook. I grew up with name Hook when I was young in Annapolis. Guy named Hook. Man, Hook used to fight like that. And I'm telling you, man, he was a one hitter quitter. And I used to be like, if he ever, <laughs> you just start thinking, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Y'all know somebody like that? You know what I mean? Even if you can fight, you know what I'm saying? You be in your mind, boy, I tell you what, the weight, man, that's <laughs> Sunny <Sunday> Boxing. <laughs> Sunny Boxing, if you ever. <laughs> That's like boxing is quick draw McGraw. That's like, you know, in Baltimore, if you can box real. You know, in Baltimore, if you can box real good, right? Uh, people will drop and scoop you. 
Anybody know about the drop? You be you be ready to box, and they just drop and scoop you. Anybody know about that? They do that in y'all town. If you can box right, because I can box and wrestle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't no boxer or nothing, but I can hold my own, right? But in Baltimore, if you can box real good, you might get one that just scoop you whoop, and just take you for a ride. <laughs> I'll tell you, one thing about Baltimore City, right? One thing about Baltimore City. <laughs> don't think you're going to box somebody or think you're going to wrestle somebody. <laughs> That was back in the day. Today, you put up your hands like, what's up? Pow! <laughs> As it's a wrap. <laughs> this is a wrap. Today, these young, man, this younger generation today ain't none of that. What's up? What you saying? What you mean what I'm saying? What you mean? What you saying? <laughs> That's how it is today, man. But uh, anyway, so family, tonight, anybody anybody familiar with uh, JJ7000? JJ7000 is... Uh, Jeremiah Judah. If you're not familiar with him, he has um, the debate channel for the Hebrews, and he's been on Sinetta TV quite a few times. But what's interesting is this, and I, I don't want people to think because of the thumbnail that um, this is about twerking, twatting, stripping, and flipping. This ain't what that's about. But what's interesting is, and I'm not going to let the story go. So if you're not interested in the story, you know what I mean? You can dip. But I'm not going to let the story go. But I think it's very interesting. I'm just going to have a talk with you real quick. I think it's very interesting because the show is actually tonight. But I think it's very interesting that out of the clear blue, out of nowhere, we have Somebody like Nepal comes in as a Hebrew Israelite. And, you know, we have less vocal Hebrew Israelites that really speak, that that, that speak on it. Like they're, they're, they're not, or they don't have a big voice like some other Hebrew Israelites. But the ones with the big voices, the big platforms, they don't even even say nothing about, you know, this system misrepresenting uh, um, the Bible the Hebrew teachings, Hebrew Israelite teachings or nothing like that, you know. Uh, I'm just saying from my perspective, I've always, when I seen one to misrepresent the Moorish doctrine, I've always spoke out about it. Now, that don't mean you have to be disrespectful. I'm not I'm not implying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying like, no, sis is not there. No, that is not this. No, that is not that. Most of the larger platform and the more vocal Hebrew Israelites really doesn't don't say anything about it. And I'm talking about from a scholarship perspective. I'm talking about from a moral perspective. Nobody speaks out about it. And it amazes me that the moment that one uh, uh, give a platform to one to respond about some of this nonsense, then they become the bad guy. Well, we're going to have to be the bad guy. Because at the end of the day, if anybody not familiar with this, y'all familiar with the Nepal thing on here, but JJ7000, Jeremiah Judah, is one of the ones that was instrumental in uh, uh, Nepal to even being known. Between Jeremiah Judah and Judah Nazar, um, now, now she was in other camps, but those two right there are, 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 are vocal on social media have been for quite some time, but though those two are the ones that she had been friends with or even interested in, we're going to find out in great detail tonight. But since Jeremiah Judah distanced himself from the Paul, because I hear that they had some sort of relationship or something like that. Um, and I don't know if it was before, I forget the brother name, um, the brother they accused of passing pictures and all that, I forget his name. But whatever the case may be, um, before him, I think it was supposed to be Jeremiah Judah. So I'm just interested, I'm going to take the story because I'm interested in how do these people enter into these conversations? They have no background on the streets, they have no background in communities. They have no, even Sarnetta with his hate, half crazy behind, at least he have some type of background 
on the streets of Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Many of these people that come in and claim that they represent our people or speak for our people, regardless of what persuasion of religions or spiritual or social movement that they're with, it seems to me that they pop out of nowhere. And we got this with the Black Panthers. We got all sorts of Black Panthers. I never imagined it was so many Black Panthers variations. I never imagined that. I seen one uh, 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 last week. They come out of Minnesota. I mean, the information is all over the place. Um, they talking about that the, the five-point plan or ten-point plan, whatever plan it is for the Black Panther, that it was started by Garvey. I said, good goodness of gracious, started by Garvey. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like many people that fly the red, black, and green don't even understand what Garvey stood for. In other words, you don't see a group of nurses together. Garvey had uh, professional nurses uh, rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? He had publishers. He had um, what you call it, uh, 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 writers. He had, I mean, he had some educated people with him. But these people just run and screaming, black power, F the white man, and F the cracker and, and all this crazy stuff, but then say they represent Garvey. Like, many people must never even pay attention to Garvey, the ones that scream this stuff. And so it's a group that is um, that is formulating at this point. And you can tell that they are so miseducated as it relates to liberation or revolution. That means the revolution philosophy, even pan-Africanism. Now, listen. I'm a Moorish American Muslim to the bone. You know what I'm saying? However, Pan-Africanism and Moorish science really is interwoven into each other. It's a philosophy. The name don't really mean nothing. But back to my point. These people come out of nowhere. There is no checks and balances. Where in the world is the checks and balances when people come into our community? Where is it? In the Moorish community, we had the guy, Shalimar Bay. He came in talking about that he was a consular uh, for the Moorish consular. In fact, nobody knew him. He didn't have no, uh, uh, no elders that taught him. <coughs> he quickly connected with Taj Tariq Bay. And then from Taj Tariq Bay, he began to formulate this false notion of a consular court. He was reading off a script and everything. And so I exposed this guy because at the end of the day, um, the Hebrew Israelite community, as well as the Moorish community, is a grassroots community. These people just don't pop up. See, with the, this day of the internet, it allows people to pop up. But I'm employing each and every one of us that have a social or religious organization to call people on it. Like, where you come from? Who are you? Even on social media. That, I mean... People are scared to stir up, stir the pot, stir the pot. Who these people? And so the point that I'm making is one of the first contacts that Nepal had out of nowhere. She was in a camp and I think Jeremiah Judah was, would tell us the true story. I'm just jumping around with it right now, but she comes out. And the next thing everybody get familiar with her from Sarnetta. But the weird thing, and I keep telling everybody, the weird thing about that is that it seems to me that all questionable people come through Sarnetta TV, have some Zen water. They not paying me, but hey, it's good water. But every all questionable people on the social media front seems to come through Sarnetta TV. All of them, all of them. None of them build their own platform from the ground up. None of them, none of them. You know, that's a brother too. Y'all know the little, y'all, y'all know the Spanish speaking uh, 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 Asiatics. They had them loud little mufflers and them little European. That's a brother with an Xfinity. Uh, uh, I said Xfinity, the Infinity with that little loud muffler. What the mufflers called? Why they want them? Why they want like the mufflers, man? But anyway, you know, where are the checks and balances in our community? You know what I mean? Where are they? Where are they? 
un, un, unbelievable to me that we allow people coming to this digital community where there is no sec, uh, checks and balances. If somebody come into your section, in your neighborhood, you know what I mean, and nobody recognized them, nobody seen them before, there is no way they be able to set up shop. Like you can't even come in a neighborhood and set up a lemonade stand if don't nobody know you. But here in this digital community, we have people that just pop up at any given moment. And we have people with YouTube channels that endorse them to give them some validation. And then the next time they got a march or something like that, the next time they got a march or anything going on like that, they participate in the march. Man, man, that, that's crazy. You know, this is why we are so vulnerable as a people because we trust anybody. We let anybody come through. We don't, we don't check. We don't do no checks and balances. It's like, <clears throat> y'all may have seen the, um, y'all may have seen some of the presentation where now some of the stuff is doctored where they talked about, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, who I was before I became a Moorish American, uh, uh, whether it was street, whether it was wild, whether it was aggressive, whatever the case may be. But at least you do have something to go off. You know what I'm saying? These people, you have nothing to go off. I bet you can't nobody in here tell me right now, Nepal should die real name. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Nobody in here tell me that. You know why? Because there's an effort being implemented to keep that from you. And why? Because, because... If you find out the name, you will find out the real person. You will find out the character that goes with the person. And not only will you find out the character that goes with the person, you will find out the same thing that these European call a profile. Somebody say Stacy Willis. Somebody look up Stacy Willis in uh, Sedona, Arizona. Come on. Anybody got that? Send the information to Tarkabay at gmail.com. Stacy Willis at, uh, from Sedona. Arizona. Send the information to Bay at gmail.com. I'll do the checks and balances if you're scared. i do it, and I'll call it out. And I'll call it out. I don't care what you're going to do. What you're going to do? Get mad? Get mad. Get mad. Because the digital community is controlling the vibration of the path that we are headed to. The digital community is in control right now. The digital community. In other words, when we look at hip hop, it's the digital community that controls what is popular and what is not. And um, in our social organization, it's the digital community that makes a uh, 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 Black Lives Matter popular, that makes Until Freedom popular, that makes any other social organization popular. It's the digital community. And so, if these people are going to enter into infiltrate, guess what? Guess what? They is, they're going to infiltrate through the digital community. And everyone who came to take something from our people, from the digital perspective, came through Sidenetta TV. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm wrong. And I'm not going to say every, but 99.9 and three quarters of percent. So tonight we got Jeremiah Judah. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna hold back, because there there's things that they saying about Jeremiah Judah that um, I'm going to uh, ask him about respectfully, um, because we don't. The, the, the one thing that you want to always have is a good name. You know what I mean? Like lames can't mess up a good name. That's one thing. Lames could never mess up a good name. In other words. If a lame come at you with lies and craziness, that won't mess up your name. But if you do not represent or stand on what your name is and what it stand for, then you mess up your own name. But lies and all of that, can't, that can't mess up your name. You just keep pushing, you know what I mean? Slander, whatever the people are, that can't mess up your name. You know what I'm saying? But if you do not stand on what your name stands for, then you're going to have a problem. Then you're going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? You got to represent what your name stands for. And so I'm going to ask uh, uh, my brother, Jeremiah Judah, all the questions. And if you have, somebody said, Anastasia Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> is a real name. All right. Hebrew is the life family. See, we got two different names. What was the other name that somebody said? 
Now, Anastasia Garcia, Anastasia Garcia, let me roll, Garcia. <laughs> Anastasia Garcia sounds a little bit right. How my screen look up in there? I got this, I got this new phone. I hope it's I hope it's looking right. Y'all all right? Yeah, I'm feeling good today, man. How y'all feel today? This is the first credit system. The first credit system. <laughs> Who is the first credit system? Oh my goodness, you make me nervous. <laughs> you make me people start saying, yeah, it's the first credit system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, Martel, I don't know who she is, man. I really don't. In fact, I've been so busy with her the last three months. You know what I mean? Somebody say, do all Hebrew Israelites shack up with the Europeans? Well, you know, they said that about my brother Jeremiah Judah. Uh, and he, I, I wanted to call him and ask him, but I don't think he mind answering that question. Um, about, I mean, because people may, like, let me tell you a second. If I take me a picture with a European, you know what I'm saying, and I got a few of them, you know what I'm saying, somebody might accuse me for messing with a European. In fact, I ain't got no picture with no European, but <laughs> it's a thought. You know I mean? But somebody might very well accuse me of messing with a European if I take a picture with a European. If I got a picture with a European, it's, 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 my wife with me, I ain't got <laughs> Baby, my wife, <laughs> how do you stand close <laughs> over there? <laughs> now nah, I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, this Baltimore, somebody say look like I'm down south somewhere. In fact, man, this Baltimore city, man, I live in the city. I live in the city. I just don't live in the inner city. You know what I mean? I live right in the city now. I'm going to tell you, a five-minute walk north, east, south, or west, you better have on your vest. You hear what I say? <laughs> Uh, if you go east, you go hit Garrison. If you go, let me see. If you go east, you're gonna hit Garrison. If you go south, now you hit Catonsville, you'll be all right. But if you go north, you're gonna hit Liberty Road. You gotta have your best. You gotta have your best. Liberty Road. Um, and if you hit west, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I live, I live like five minute walk, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going down. Oh, they out today. You know what they <laughs> out here in DC a few weeks, just left Silver Spring. <laughs> oh, Larisha. But look, it's going down. Listen, this is how you know it's about to get warm in Baltimore, right? This morning at like nine this morning, I come back from dropping my son off to school, right? And uh man. They cross the street, getting it in. Police everywhere. Oh, it, it, this is. <laughs> Shout out to Akron. So look, they, it's going down, right? I hear a young sister, man. She can't be no more than young twenties. You know what I mean? I hear her say, she on the phone calling somebody. The police told her to take a walk. Her and the little compadres take a walk. She walked, and she was like, "I don't care what the f you say. You know they ain't gonna hold me." You know what I'm saying? But she said, um, I ain't going to sit. I ain't going to be sitting. You know what I mean? They ain't going to hold me. I ain't going to be sitting. I, look, I looked at my wife. I said, that means if you go over central bookings, they're going to let you right out. You ain't going to be sitting over there. <laughs> I had to break down the vernacular. You know what I mean? She said, I ain't going to be sitting. You can say what you want. Wait till I come back. You know what I mean? They can lock me up all they want. I ain't going to be sitting. That means that mean she go over central bookings. She gonna be a walkthrough. <laughs> hey, I go over there, I'm gonna be sitting. You know what I, mean? I, mean, <laughs> I gotta sit. I gotta sit to the court date. You know what I mean? I'm too aggressive. That, it's like I'm playing. I'm not aggressive, man. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Diego! San Diego in the building, man. Yeah, Baltimore, beautiful thing, man. Baltimore, beautiful thing. I love Baltimore. Baltimore adopted me, man, because I wasn't born in Baltimore. But Baltimore adopted me, man. I mean, seriously, man, Baltimore. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. We got one. We got a hot one on the line. Watch this. Somebody coming through singing right now. We got a hot one on the line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, hot one on the line. Well, I can't turn it around. There she go. I can't turn it around. I don't know how I work this camera. 
Yeah, but we had a hot one on the line. My bad. Frederick Douglass house up on the hill. That's right. Frederick Douglass. Frederick, we chilling. Now, Baltimore is an old town. Do y'all know Baltimore is an old town? Baltimore is considered South. Anybody know that? Anybody know that Baltimore is considered South? Yeah. Baltimore is considered South. Many people think Baltimore is North. Nope. Baltimore is considered uh, uh, South. So we got a lot of old stuff here, just like down south. The only thing is, we get we get a different type of country. You know what I mean? We get we get a gift. Like you say, dog. We say, Doug. I'm gonna get my mother on here to say, Doug, one day. <laughs> y'all y'all know in Baltimore they say, Doug, right? I guess we say, Doug. You know what I mean? My mother be saying, I be trying to I be trying to change it for years. I be like I be like, mom. I be like, mom. I'm going to get you a puppy. I don't want no Doug. <laughs> Ma, you don't want no what? I don't want no Doug. <laughs> Ma, I'm going to get you a pit bull. What I'm going to do with a damn Doug? <laughs> Excuse my language. For real, that's what my mama said. <laughs> I, I tell you, that's what my mama say. I'm going to bring her here one day. And I'm going to mess with her. I'm going to say, Mom, I'm going to get you a pit bull. What I'm going to do with a damn Doug? <laughs> But this is why we family. <laughs> yeah, I worked with a few cats for people. It's hard to understand. Them. <laughs> this, that, and the third. <laughs> that what it is. This, that, and the third. Merlin. <laughs> yeah, hold on, y'all know what you want. Hold on, y'all know what you want. Now, y'all know what you want. Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold up, <laughs> Merlin. <laughs> Hey, my wife from upstate New York, right? She was like, do you have the iron? I was like, what, the iron? You need the iron? Tell me the iron. She's like, huh? I like the iron. She's like, the iron? I said, no, the iron. Yeah, buddy. Like, I try to tell you, we be doing it. We a different type of country, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we're a different type of country. Yeah, between Baltimore and DC, man, we 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 got we got some we got some some real good vernacular. We do Baltimore, DC, Annapolis, everything in between. We got some really good vernacular, man. She was like, "Huh? What? <laughs> the on? You want the on?" <laughs> this lady told me what DMV meant. I don't know. There we go. So, family, tonight we're going to be on TaakaBay.com uh, because the interview is going to be exclusive. I'm going to be ex I'm going to be showing some. Um, so I'm going to be showing a few pics that I can't show on here. Uh,
All right, can you hear me now? Let me see if y'all can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Check one, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Check one, can you hear me now? <laughs> can anybody hear me now? <laughs> I had to go, see, I came out here prepared. I came out here prepared. You know what I'm saying? I came out here prepared because I knew, I knew them folks didn't want this message to get out. So I came in prepared with my laptop. You see what I'm talking about? So I don't want y'all look at me twice and get dizzy. I know y'all like me, but not that much. You know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all look at me twice and get dizzy. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, somebody wrote in the chat that uh, JJ7000 uh, is married to a European. How do we know that's true? How do we know that's true? You know, people on the internet say a lot of things. Wouldn't it make sense if we ask him, did he did he say that? Anybody who said that, did he say that? What is up, mighty Hebrew? Did, did he say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't we just ask him? Let's not go by what somebody says. Let's just ask him. Matter of fact, he's in the chat right now. He says that's not true. Why isn't that enough? Why isn't that enough? And if he's proved to you that it's not true, why would you carry on something that is not true? So, so this is where we're at now. So tonight on Tahakabay.com, Jeremiah Judah will be answering, here we go. We, we'll deal with that tonight, Jeremiah Judah. Jeremiah Judah will be answering that and other questions. But one of the things that I told you that I was interested in was how did we get to this point? I know Jeremiah Judah, uh, JJ7000, as a, uh, a, a, a real good debater. I know him as a Hebrew Israelite. I know him as, um, what I know him as, I don't know what you know him as, but what I know him as, I always see him and uh, his wife, and I think her name is Carla. I don't know because I don't get in people relationships like that, but I think that is. But they seem like a power couple to me. I don't know, but you know, everybody have their their issues or whatever that might be. I don't know if they did or they didn't or whatever, but who knows? But the point that what I seen from the brother is not what I hear about the brother. So I think when you see something about somebody. Verse, you hearing about something about somebody, ask them if it concerns you that much. You know what I mean? If, if it concerns you that much. But because we are in the social media era, I will definitely ask him about some of these things. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely ask him about some of these things. But um, like I said, I want to know the history of how people like Nepal can enter into this community and turn it upside down. The digital community, you know, how Sinetta can claim to be conscious and call women bees, um, say suck his privates and all of these things and people still come to his defense. I want to know how do we get from people look at me and they say, well, I've listened to some people say, oh, you turned into a gossip, a gossip demonstration. But in fact, what up? What up with you? Man, we don't listen to Rick Ross over here. Turn it off. Don't come over here with no Rick Ross. <laughs> when you got that Rick Ross jumping? We don't do Rick Ross over here. Huh? Come on over here. We don't do Rick Ross. We do, uh, who we do now? We do, uh, we do Kodak. We do T Grizzly. We do T Grizzly. Yeah. You want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. <laughs> What's up, man? I need to. Can you text me so I can send you the link? Yeah. You coming? What you doing Saturday? No, just had my son. Did you Did you tell your uncle? Yeah, I told him. Yeah. I, I got to send you the link. Four, four, three, four, you know? Yeah, I'm talking to the people now. Oh, I know you are. Yeah, I'm talking because we got a show tonight. Yeah. They keep on talking about my Hebrew brother. Uh, talk about him crazy. You know what I'm saying? And so he going to come and uh, knock it out the park tonight. You should watch the show tonight. This is my neighbor right here, man. He don't come on camera because he got business. He got real business to handle. Come and play with you people on social media. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this one here, this one went out, so I had to have the backup. Right. Know. You know what I mean? But man, you got my number right. Yeah. Text me because I got a new phone, right. and that's how my phone messed me up. But you want me to text you now? Why you? Want? That, you can text me now. It ain't you know. It ain't gonna right. disturb me. Right. You know what I mean? How you been? What's up, little man? Man, you you coming through though? Yeah. Why don't you why don't you bring them with you? I ain't got no choice. We got we got we got a children's section. Yeah, you had to come with me. We got a children's section for the babies. Yeah, come on, man. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. So look, see, this is the thing. You know what I mean? Come from New. <laughs> so this is the thing. This is what I try to tell people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of things, right? Like we got something going on Saturday. Uh, we got the children. We got the adults. We got a, We got a nice thing going on. And I. And the thing is, you know, you can't tell these people on the internet what you're doing all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing that they do, if you rent a center or you uh, get a center or something, the first thing that they do is they're gonna call the center and start talking crazy. And then you can't even do the community work that you are uh, scheduled to do. You feel what I'm saying? You can't even do all that. So. What I do is I keep a lot of that stuff out from this camera right here. And when I come to this camera, I just want to make sure that y'all know that this person or that person uh, could possibly be the one that send you around the wrong path and throw you off of a cliff if you actually follow the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of this stuff, you know what I mean? I, the reason why, I tell you what, when you look at JJ7000. Uh, and you look at a lot of other debate leagues, right? They just kick to stick to the debating and steel shop and steel. But when you look at these brothers, like trying to turn a debate into a cash cow with no real solution at the end of the debate, you begin to understand that this is no different than love and hip hop. It's just conscious, but it's not even conscious. Conscious just becomes the catchword in order to draw people in. It become, if you will, the, um, I guess you will call it the catchword. It just, it just becomes, it becomes that trigger word to draw people in because it's not nothing about, con it's nothing really conscious about it. You know what I'm saying? If you ask some of these people with these if you ask some of these people that claim to be conscious what have they really done as a community there is nothing that they can bring on the table that makes sense there is nothing that they can bring on the table that can make sense you know what i'm saying like for instance all the money that sinetta and polite made during them debates there is not there was not one backpack giveaway for school children there was not one backpack giveaway for school children. There was not one free field trip to take children to the museum where they was charging people to go see the uh, ancient Kemet relics in New York. There was not nobody. There was not nobody going into a school and saying, you know what? We debate on 125th, but let me talk to the children in the school. There's nobody that went into prisons to talk to inmates to hopefully they will come out and get on the right path. These these debate celebrities on from 125th and all of this social media stuff, you know what I'm saying, that turned into a cash cow and got money from it. Nobody went into no prison. Nobody went into a juvenile facility. See, let me tell you the difference between me and them. This COVID is being lifted. I'm going to document everything. I'm going to document everything. I'm going to show you me. I'm going to show you me talking to the juveniles that took the wrong path. See, at first I used to keep that stuff to myself. I'm going to show you. Hopefully that you'll be inspired. I'm going to show you how we're going to go into the prison and talk to the inmates that may have took the wrong road. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the difference between me and these bloggers and these YouTubers and these set up debates. I'm going to show you the difference. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to show you because I'm looking for some profit. 
I'm going to show you because there need to be a blueprint and there need to be a standard set as to what's real and what is fake. You know what I mean? There need to be a standard set. And so when people see people talking crazy or people talking knowledge or people getting all worked up and talking about they exposing something, they'll begin to ask, well, what you doing? What you doing? Like, I don't mind a debate, but what happens after debate? What happens after the debate? That's what's important. Come here. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. And my wife. Come here. The, the, what happens? A debate is good. There's nothing wrong with a debate. But after the debate, if you go into the bar and get some good liquor, you're going to roll up some good dope. You're going to get some European fashion. You're going to get some European cars. You're going to do all that. Then what's the point? What's the point? <clears throat> You're debating so-called black philosophy theology, but you take that same money and give it right back to the European for some European fashion. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? What's the point? You know I mean, you ain't taking that money to build a little community center. I mean, you ain't taking that money to make sure there's an after school program where some computers can be at, where the little children can come in, even play PlayStation instead of being on the streets. You ain't doing that. So what's the point? So this is why I like J.J. Uh, 7,000 of them debates. They got their little circle and they just do it as steel, sharp and steel. And most of the time they leave as friends. And that's what they do. And in and, and, uh, Argument League, I like them too, even though they attack me for no reason. But I like them too. I like them too. You know what I mean? But because they, they keep their little circle and, you know, they keep it going. Uh, uh, what's my brother Judah Nazareth? I like them too because the way that they do it, but they ain't trying to cash out on it. And if they was cashing in on it, then I would say the same thing What you doing? What you doing? You know, I just look at all the sacrifice that I be making, you know what I'm saying? I be looking at all the sacrifice I be making and all the arguments that people be having, and they don't really put no put no sacrifice down, man. That's why I am forever grateful for the supporters of Morris World TV. I'm forever in debt to the supporters of Morris World TV. You know, um, whether whether it be my good my good friend Nugent, whether it be uh, uh, my good friend Crip, or anybody in this chat, uh, uh, uh. uh Martel or whomever, you know what I'm saying? Sonny, anybody, all of y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Counselor Cone, whoever, y'all know who y'all are. I'm forever in debt because you show me that a little can go a long way and big effort is better than no effort at all. Or a little effort is better than no effort at all. Many people don't even put even a little effort to change this situation. Many people don't even put even a little effort. Louis, stop at Buck. Y'all hear Louis back in? Louis back there, Buck. Yeah. So tonight, family, it's going in, family. We going in tonight. But it's going to be on. So first, it's going to be on Tahakabay.com because I got to show some things. Anybody in here with the link to Tahakabay.com? That's for my memberships first. So it's going to be on there first. And then we're going to, uh, I got to see how it go. And then I will live stream it here. I got to see how it go, man. Abuzu. So everything that we do from here on out, a day before, we're going to do it on Tahakabay.com so we can build up our library there. And then we're going to put it on YouTube. And so we got uh, 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 Jeremiah Judah. He's up first. Um, right after that, I'm going to bring my brother, uh, mighty Hebrew in, uh, some probably sometime next week. I also got a presentation, um, about brother polite. He got a whole new slew of hustles right now that y'all probably ain't even aware of. Uh, and we're going to compare 
Brother Polite old hustles with his new hustles. We also going to try to see if the person, um, social security number that he's using, she's passed away at this point, but we're going to try to locate her. I'm going to do the research to locate her. She's passed away at this point, but I'm going to try to locate her. Um, and that's going to be next week. I got a lot of leads. I got a lot of leads. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, but that's going to be on TaakaBay.com. You know what I'm saying? So I need everybody, if y'all uh, on TaakaBay.com, you go there. And it is a subscription channel. But I'm going to tell you that um, you can cancel the, the uh, subscription anytime you get ready. What's going on? I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the family. These are my people right here. And my wife, she had crazy. What if, what if I need you? If you need me, I'm here. Yeah, you know I man. My brother Judas said he been married to Nicole Hayes for 14 years. Don't know what these folks talking about. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying. Jeremiah Judah tonight, he will answer all questions. And he's going to give us a history lesson. He's going to give us a history lesson on how all of this came about. Because, again, all I know is Jeremiah Judah, the debater, Jeremiah Judah, the Hebrew, Jeremiah Judah uh, with his woman. I don't know a Jeremiah Judah with a European or a Jeremiah Judah cruddy, dirty, slimy. I don't know that Jeremiah Judah. I don't. You know what I mean? So somebody sent me something today on the brother. And I say, brother, I said, I said, I said, um, what's this all about? He was like, oh, you don't know. The brother seen the guy mad at me because I didn't know. I don't know. I was like, brother, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't know that Jeremiah Judah. It's just like me and you. you the, the, the same people say I beat my wife with a bat. Y'all don't know that Tahaka Bay. I don't even know that Tahaka Bay. <laughs> I beat my wife with a bat. Anybody from Baltimore know that song? Beat that with a bat. <laughs> beat that with a bat. They said, though, you claiming Photoshop. Don't ask no question. We're going to talk about that tonight. We got 202 people in the building. Um, I know. It's about to go to the temple. All right. You going? I'm about to leave in a minute. I'm going to the temple in a minute. See, that's what we do. We really, we, we really got a temple. Like, like we, like, like we really, we real Moorish Americans. Like we got a real temple. We like, we just not internet talking. You know what I mean? We like real Moorish Americans. Like, 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 you know what I mean? You like, I would never browbeat somebody to try to be a Moorish American or try to be a Moorish American Muslim. Or even if you're interested with something, but we like really Moorish American. Like, let me show you something real quick. Look, anybody ride past that house, this is what you go and see. This is what you go and see. Anybody ride past that house, this is what you go and see. Ain't nobody hiding. You know what I'm saying? Anybody right on, on my table, on my outside table, that's what you're going to see. You see what I'm saying? I've been doing Y'all see that? That's what you're going to see. I just didn't, I didn't just, I just didn't put that there. I just didn't put this in. This fly, this fly every day. If them boys come, them boys going to see this. If a fake Moroccan come, like, why you got my flag? I'm going to break the flag down from him like you crook, you thief. Do you know that y'all didn't even become a nation to 1953? And I think it was 1953 and Prophet Noble Drew Ali proclaimed us more Americans in 1913. Get your mind right, you pale Frenchman. Get your mind right. <laughs> you ain't have no flag. You know what I mean? You stole our forefathers' flag and then you became a state in the 1950s and you've been flying the flag ever since. Get out of here. Get out of here. In the 19, in the 1900s, you started flying our, our forefathers' flag. After the occupation. Stop playing. And now when somebody see a, 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 a Moorish flag, uh, ain't that Moroccan flag? What came face? 
What came first, Morocco or Moorish? Answer that question. What came first, Morocco or Moor? Moorish. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Stop playing, man. See, see, I don't let nobody. See, see, I don't let nobody hijack mine and then claim that it's theirs. See, if you take my coat, if you take my coat, I don't care how long you wear my coat. Once I figure out that you got my coat, I'm coming to get mine. And I ain't gonna be scared to wear my coat because somebody else claimed that is that's not your coat. Somebody said, what occupation? Y'all know that the, uh, the, the, that the French occupied uh, uh, North Africa, right? The French. That's where you get all that pale skin from in North Africa. From the Spaniards, the French. And then maybe eight, nine hundred years before that. Eight, nine hundred years before that, you had the, uh, uh, um, the Greeks come in. I mean, are you going to bring out the Hebrew relationship of Moorish science? You know what? That's right. And the pale Turks. Um, absolutely. This is what, let me tell you something. If anybody ever noticed, for some reason, I took on the attribute to Hawker, right? Everybody know my birth name is Toronto, but I took on the attribute to Hawker, right? Because the Hawker was one that was able to bring the unity between the Hebrews and the, and the real commissions, not this fake stuff now, not this fake stuff now, you know what I'm saying? And when I look at Tahaka and I look at Bay, I look at us as one family. We have a family with conflict. We have a family that's in disarray, but we still one family. So when you see Tahaka Bay, you see a whole family. And I'm really about unity, but I'm going to tell you the facts when it comes to separating from the madness. I'm not unifying with crooks, thieves, liars, scammers and manipulators i'm not i'm not unifying with nobody like that when somebody say black people need to come together i'm not coming together with no crooks i'm not coming together with no scammers i'm not coming together with people who intentionally is set out preying on a already beat down people comedic hebrew why don't you why don't you uh why don't let's come on the channel and talk about it, bro? When you want to do it, me and you, me and you can have the conversation. Uh, uh, we can bring in mighty Hebrew, mighty Hebrew. Uh, um, he in Africa right now. You know what I'm saying? Many people ask him, "You a Hebrew? Why are you in Africa?" Because it's all ours. Because it's all ours. That's why the earth is ours. The planet is ours. It's all ours. That's right. And we, and we need to stop allowing doctrine, dogma, and people divide us. Only thing we should divide from is falsehood, lies, manipulation. That's it. It's the only thing we should be dividing from. But tonight, family, on TahakaBay.com, the link will be, I'm going to ask him everything. I'm going to ask him about the European woman. Uh, somebody even said that he was on um just up make sure somebody said that he was on house arrest somebody say he Jeremiah Judah was on house arrest somebody say somebody even accused them what they said I'd beat my wife with a bat did he beat his wife up <laughs> he beat his wife we're gonna ask that but most importantly I want him to take us through a journey how did it get so vulgar 
Now, and I know Sinetta is a, is a vulgar dude without a doubt of contra contradiction. But how did it get so vulgar when he actually made a contribution to Sinetta TV with his debates? You know what I mean, I've never made a contribution to Sinetta TV. Never. I never, I never, uh, 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 I mean, did I have a debate on that? I think I did at one. You know what I'm saying? And that was, I think it was uh, Rob something or something. I don't know. I forget his name. I think I had one. But every time I was on Sinetta TV, it was trying to defend the Moors. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've always, I started with my own platform from, um, from day one, but, um, I know on the debate level, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Judah is known for debates and, um, he definitely made a contribution like all the time that black Jesus spent on there today. You know what I'm saying? He's making a contribution. You know what I'm saying? And if you've been on there, you made a contribution. And so, um, but it's time for all the positive platforms come together and separate themselves from the wickedness and the craziness. Because you can't talk about uplifting somebody one minute and then call somebody mother a bee, call somebody mother a crackhead. I be hearing them cuss out people mothers. You know what I mean? That's right. Look, Jeremiah Judas, they had five debates on this platform last year and two this year, never asked them for a dime. You know what I'm saying? dedicating his time you know what i'm saying so and then that man attacked him like a man all over nepal and i understand if that's his woman he gotta protect his woman i mean he gotta protect his woman but is that really his woman is that really his woman how you come how you become over 50 and act like that if that's what i'm looking for at 50 I want to be Benjamin Button and grow backwards. I want to go backwards. If Noble Drew Ali came to America in 1915, where was he coming from? He didn't come to America in 1913. He was born in the state of North Carolina, 1886. I mean, he didn't come. He didn't come. Why don't uh, uh, White Falcon 44 emailing me at Tarka Bay, uh, Talkabay at gmail.com, and I will allow you to question me anything about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. JJ7000, this is nobody, the co host of Paradigm Shift. Salute the Paradigm Shift. Trust and believe the gospel. Salute the Paradigm Shift. So tonight, family, we'll be talking to JJ7000 again. First, it's going to air on. Um, Because I'm going to show a little bit, a couple pictures I'm going to be asking them about. I'm going to be asking about some of the pictures that, you know them. You know what I mean? You know them. So we're going to be on, we're going to be on Targabay.com tonight at 9.30 to 10.30. Because I think that'll be enough unless he want to go, go uh, further. Uh, we're going to go there. Somebody said, call coffee and kush. <laughs> Is that Walt White Falcon 44? That better not be coffee and Kush come over here bother me, man. That brother be bothering me something crazy. If, if that's what's the brother that do coffee and Kush? I will invite you over if you if you if you don't be arrogant and um and we can have an intelligent conversation. If that what's the brother that do coffee and Kush? I forget his name. Somebody Nin Lil Amon said, listen, y'all ain't talking about nothing that is uplift Father Humanity because we in the streets uplifting Father Humanity. We use we use social media for what it's for. You want to join me in the streets? Where you at? What town you in? What town you in? Huh? Yeah, that's Cab Gills, Coffee and Kush. Cab Gills, I would invite you on the channel and ask me anything you want, but you have to be respectful and be dignified. We're not going to get into the to the I mean the silly stuff. I I'm like over the silly stuff, real really. Like again, this is not about dragging anybody tonight. It's not even about dragging anybody. It's about getting to the bottom of it because JJ Seven Thousand have made um, a bunch of contributions and he have introduced a lot of people to another level of social media as it relates to being a Hebrew. In fact, I seen him on a presentation today where a brother created his own debate league and he was on there today helping the brother promote and so uh i think 
if I can provide a platform for him to express himself, I'm going to put it out there. But family, I got to go. I will see you tonight at Taalka, on TaalkaBay.com. If you don't have the link, get the link. We're going to be on Moorish World TV exclusive from 930 probably till about 11. 930 till about 11. I mean, what is the state of the Moors? Same as African Americans. What is the state of the Moors same as African-Americans? You really think so? Okay. If that's what you think. If, let me tell you something real quick. You said, what is the state of the Moors the same as an African-American? When you want to do it, email me. We can do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow. I'm only going to give you an hour, though. I only can give you an hour because I'm busy. We got an event on Saturday. So, I mean, we got a community event on Saturday and I'm still working on some things, but I can give you an hour if you email me. We can do it midday. We can do it midday. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, 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 let me show you something, the difference, family. The difference between a Moorish American and uh, our brothers and sisters who claim to be or proclaim to be African American, the difference is the plan designed for the Moorish American. The roadmap to get out of this condition for the Moorish American. If I was to ask you the roadmap for African American proclaimed to get out of this condition called oppression, 10 out of 10 will give you 10 answers. But if I ask a Moorish American with the roadmap to get out of this, if they have followed Prophet Noble Drew Ali's teachings, they will be able to explain nationality and divine creed and practice and practical use as opposed to jibber jabber. So, in short, Morris science. Morris science. Morris science. I don't want to hear philosophy. Now you can't be goofy now. Don't be if you want to have an intellectual conversation, we can have that, but don't be goofy. Let's have an intellectual conversation. Let me say this. Morris science is predicated upon identifying as a nationality, unifying as a nation and building it from the mud. And building it from the mud. In other words, when you look at Kosovo, when you look at, and I'm, I'm speaking in that area right now. When you look at Kosovo, you look at the Ukraine, even when you look in the Gaza Strip, most of these nations was built from the mud or they broke off from another nation that was built. Morris science is no different. The problem is people think that a piece of paper is going to free you. A big mouth is going to free you. When in fact, these hands, which is a miracle, are the only thing that's going to free you. Connected to the intelligence given to you by the universal creator law. That's it. It's on. It's on. But that's the only thing going to free you. And now we can get into the program. You ready? We can get into the program. I'm about to leave anyway. Time is. We can, we, can, we can get into the program as laid out by Prophet Noble Drew Ali that people fail to follow. See, it's not the program. It's not the script. It's not the program that's the problem. The people is the problem. But I will ask you the same thing. I will walk you through the roadmap as laid down by Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And then you walk me through the African-American roadmap to get up out of this oppression. And I will guarantee you the Moorish roadmap makes more sense. So we are not the same. We are just not the same. Many Moors don't even know the roadmap as laid down by Prophet Noble Drew Ali, even though he gave an extensive expression of what it looks like. 
Many Moors that's wearing fairs and screaming Islam don't even know it. In fact, many Moors won't even talk to many people on this channel right now because you proclaim, subscribe yourself as black. That is not the Prophet Noble Drew Ali's way. That's not the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Let me say this before I go. Prophet Noble Drew Ali makes a statement. You know how people always try to use that black term? And like, oh, you can't be black. And black, 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 and black, black, black. Prophet Noble Jalim makes a statement. He said, they, talking about Europeans, he said, they took the term. And I, I might be off a little bit, but the expression of what he said means the same thing. It's in a, it's a, it's a, it's in a lecture or a, a writing called, What Shall We Call Him? And Prophet Noble Drew Ali says emphatically, he says, they took the term white and they used it to define themselves. And they defined it as something pure, something good, something holy. And then they, he used the term they, took the term black and used it to describe us and they gave it a turn as something you, you hear where i'm going with this you hear where i'm going with this now now with that being said with that being said although we are the first we are the first ones on the planet to define the esoteric or esoteric meaning of colors. So black always meant darkness, death. But on the other side of black is light because out of darkness comes the light. Out of darkness comes life. Out of death is the resurrection comes life. So they go hand in hand. And evil is a myth. It's an illusion. It's not real. But what the European has done is systematically use that term to disenfranchise a people. And this is why we went through terms of color, Negro, uh, Black, Afro-American, African-American, because he uses these terms to disenfranchise when, in fact, he always been a Frenchman or a so-called white man. He always been a Russian or so-called white man. He always been. He always been a Spaniard or so-called white man. He always been these things. But we here in America, we haven't always been the same thing because he uses these terms to disenfranchise. But our forefathers is the one who gave definition to all these terms, whether it be white, whether it be green, whether it be red, whether it be blue. We know what red mean. Red, it triggers your passions. It triggers your appetite. You feel me? This is why when you look at Wendy's, the hair on Wendy's is red. You look at McDonald's, they got red in it. You look at Burger King, it got red in it. You look at Kentucky, it got red in it. You look, you hear what I say? We define the esoteric meanings of colors, not Europeans. You see what I'm saying? But what the European did, he took the basic surface meaning of a thing and put it on us and used it to disenfranchise us. You understand what I'm saying? So, 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 so what I'm trying to say is when you talk about African Americans and Moors are in the same place, no, misguided Moors, mis Moors that don't understand one thing. Look, Tazzy said churches, Bojangles, because we gave the science of colors, not Europeans, but the Europeans took the surface of a color, black, and threw it on us. In the surface of it, that black, according to science, does mean death. But out of death comes life. Out of darkness comes light. Anytime you plant a seed in the ground, you plant a seed, you got to put it in darkness before it can come to life. So the European has used the surface level of the conversation of what black means and described us. And he uses it to disenfranchise us. Don't let me go into my Moorish bag. It has nothing to do. It has nothing to do 
with being a completely bad thing, which some of the Moors try to put on people. Has nothing to do with that. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing. That is real Moorish science. Real Moorish science. We have people in North Africa, all the way to South Africa, even over here in the Americas indigenous, that was blue black. That was blue black. But that was an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. A person, place, a thing is a noun. A person cannot be black. A person cannot be black because it's a noun. It can be an adjective describing the noun. You see what I'm saying? Like a house is not blue unless you're saying the house is blue as an adjective. Did I go too far? Did I go too far? See, and this is what the, the hypnotist European put on us. I got to go. Family, y'all got me going into my bag, man. Y'all got me going into my bag, man. That's why I don't, people say, man, where are the Moors? The Moors don't rock with Tahaka Bay. No, I rock with Moors, but I rock with Moors on the ground. I don't rock with internet fake Moors. I don't, I rock with internet Moors that know the ledge, that know the knowledge. I rock with internet Moors that's striving to do better. You know what I'm saying? I rock, I rock, I rock with Moors that do the knowledge. I don't, I don't rock with Moors that play church. I don't rock with Moors that play temple. I don't rock with Moors that play mosque. I don't rock with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't rock with that. I rock with Moors that know the knowledge. I rock with Moors that do the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, what does Moors mean? Moor mean Westerner. When the Moors traveled from east, they went west. It means Westerner, the ones that went West. That's what it means. It means, it means Mori. It's born from the word Mori. The ones that went West. So they went from the, from what they call the Levant. They, they traveled from the Levant and went West. That's what it means. But I got to go, fam. I got to go. I got to go, family. I got to go. I got to go get the babies. I got to go get the babies. So tonight at 930, family. Tonight at 9. Man, people talk about, oh, man, kick some knowledge. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can do this all day. Why can't we just deal with our condition? We can deal with our condition. That's what I deal with every day. But I'm just telling you a philosophy right now. I deal with my condition every day. But more science is my thing. It saved my life. It opened my mind up. It helped me see the world in a whole different way. But when it comes to putting in this work, let's get on the ground and put in this work. What city you in is what I said. Where you at? You want to deal with that condition? You got some money? Put your money in your city. Let's look at the blueprint and get it popping. You feel me? Let's look at the blueprint and get it popping. You know what I'm saying? If, if you ain't ready, if you ain't ready to get your hands dirty, you ain't ready to go into your bank account. You know what I'm saying? You ain't ready, you ain't get your hands dirty, you ain't ready to go in your bank account, you ain't ready to go in the, go and duck them bullets in the city. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Can't believe, can't believe 189 people is watching this man act the way he acts. What do y'all get from this platform? We get you. Well, we you know what we get from you. We get you blocked. <laughs> we get <laughs> funky things. That's what we get. We get you blocked. But with that being said, family, I do got to go. I will be back live tonight. This is the Baltimore. This this how they do round way. This the Baltimore. What I'm trying to tell you is I'm gonna be back tonight. All right. I volunteered this weekend at the food bank. That's right, Kyle. Get it in. Get it in. And anybody doing what they need to do around, anybody that need to do what they do around their communities, man, do what you do, man. Look out for the people. I got to go. I got to go get the babies. I might be late, but hey, I had to drop some jewels. I had to tell y'all about my brother, JJ, 7,000. Peace and love. I see y'all tonight. Tonight, family. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Talkabay.com, 930. We in the building. All right? We in the building. Peace and love.